also the wrestlers are protesting in New Delhi and uh, they have been uh, beautifully blocked by the policeman. And here West Bengal is uh, holding one march for the solidarity of the wrestlers, of Indian wrestlers. And here with us, ex-Olympian Joydeep Da. Joydeep Da, uh, the, this march, this solidarity march, we have seen lots of people, lots of athletes are there. Uh, what are the motto of this march? I think there's a lot of emotion going on in this uh, rally. And there are a lot of athletes, ex-athletes, like, you know, sports lovers, administrators, all gathered together to, like, you know, show their solidarity with the wrestlers. So I think this is a great moment for sports. It's a revolution kind of a thing which is happening for sports. Because uh, we have been athletes, we know how hard it is to win medal at the Olympics. I missed the bronze by Whisker. And I know how hard it is to miss a medal. And they have won the medals there. And they have been thrashed on the roads of, in Delhi. So that is definitely not a very good scene for anybody. So don't say about the sports person. A, a commoner will not be able to, like, you know, uh, to digest that kind of scenes which we have watched over the last couple of days. So I think this is a solid... It's sad to see that uh, the wrestlers are going in Ganga and they are uh, going to throw away the medals. Yeah, so emotions are running high. Who is right, who is wrong? I am nobody to tell because it's it's uh, sub judice now and I com cannot and I should not comment on that. But whatever it may be, a trial should be there, a fair trial should be there and we want to see the result of the trials. Do you want to question government that uh, lots of days uh, passed by, uh, one month or two months passed by, but there is no result, there is no justice for the wrestlers? See, being an athlete and being part of some kind of an administration in sports, I know there are a few... Uh, restrictions from the international bodies so that the government uh, cannot intervene in uh, like you know in, in the free uh, uh, operations of a federation so I cannot comment on that what are the rules here because at times there are embargo for the government if they interfere too much into the uh, in the in the in, uh, uh, day to day uh, job of a federation they can be debarred or they can be banned from the international federation and I think something is uh, uh, we have found something last night from the World uh, Wrestling Federation, they have been like, you know, some situation that they have uh, published uh, some notice kind of thing. So I cannot comment on that, but definitely what I want is that uh, justice for whosoever is right here and whosoever wrong here should be punished. Uh, so the many people are saying this is this is being politicized. This is this is a political steps has been taken by many political leaders in various states in opposition states. Do you agree? See, I can't uh, deny that because the thing is that like whenever something happens, that, that's where like, you know, the, the very intelligently uh, uh, mass uh, uprising needs to be stopped at the root and it has to be solved at that point. Now it has gone too far out of hand of everybody. So now whenever there is a big issue, there will be political influences from each side. So I think that is there and somebody will be taking advantage of this situation. I don't know whether it is for the benefit of the athletes or benefit of somebody else, but my point of view is for the athletes only. I don't want any political infringement here. I just want justice for the athletes. And if they're wrong, if proven to be wrong, my friend, my good friend, Sushil Kumar, as, as well as like two, two times Olympic medalist, he has been behind bars and he has been proved to be a criminal. They are not criminals. So don't treat them like criminals. That's what I want to say. Uh, so, we have joined by the ex-Olympian Joydeep Karmokar and he said that uh, he, he also wants justice, whatever the decision will be, but the justice should be brought forward uh, very soon. With camera person Orgo Ghosh, this is Anir Bansinaroy for India Today, Kolkata.